and it's so little. And I was like, why would you do that? Hey, hey Romo, you crazy. Aye. He in his feelings, he called me to tell me it's over again. He sent him money again. Nigga, a dummy again. He think I'm playing again. I did it once, I'm gonna do it again. He coming right over again. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the YouTube channel. <laughs> no, for real. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm going to give y'all a story time that I had the worst date ever. Okay, I hope y'all doing good because I'm doing good. I'm having a good day today. I bought me some new makeup. Fenty Beauty. I was using Juvia's Place, but I'm not using Juvia's Place anymore. This is my right shade, as you can see. Um, so I feel happy today. I went to mom today. Anyway, so I was in high school, and I had a thing for white guys. I don't know why I had a thing for white guys, but I did. So it was this one white guy and he was so cute. And I was like, okay. Cause I was a little cheerleader in school. And what did he do? He played soccer. And I was like, ooh, okay, okay, okay. He was tall, blonde hair. And I think blue eyes, no, green eyes. So anyways, I probably told some of my old friends this in high school, I don't remember. But one of these days, we was just like, okay, we going on a date. He was like, because I had heard he liked black girls. And I was like, ooh, like. <laughs> I was like, ooh, you like black girls. So I was always smiling, waving him and stuff. So one day I ended up smiling. And we ended up texting on Snapchat. He was like, want to go on a date? And I said, sure. So I'm thinking, okay, he's white. We finna go on a date like this. Because you know how white people are. I'm thinking this finna be a good day. Like, we finna eat steak. We finna, I'm finna meet the family. We finna go to a two-story house. Like, I'm about to be a wife in two days. Excuse me, what do you do for a living? What do you mean? Like, what do you do for a living? I'm married, what? So... Anyways, fast forward. So, boom. The day comes, you know. And he's like, we're going to go to the movies. And I'm like, okay. like, And I already know I'm not paying for nothing. Because look at you. You got the money. Like, stop playing with me. So, anyways. um, He take me. He come get me. I get dressed to get cute or whatever. And it's kind of chilly outside. So, he come pick me up in his truck. First of all, the truck don't even look all this. So I'm thinking, hold on. And I'm not even mad because, you know, he can't pick me up. But I'm like, this is not adding up. The face is not matching the truck. So I'm like, okay, it's cool. That's fine. So I get in the car. He get out the car. He give me a hug. And I'm like, uh, he open the door for me and I get in the car. I'm going to hurry up and get in the car before my pop on them come outside and see me get in there. Because I never snuck in high school. Because my mom was always like, you can do whatever you want to, you can go wherever you want to. But, like, I didn't want my pop on them to be like, who you getting in that car with? Like, that's the guy. Because one time that happened to me and my stepdaddy was like, I remember I was getting a car with a guy. He was like, because they called me Shay. He was like, Shay, where you going? Where you going? Tell me why I got up in that car and I was gone. Because I'm over here thinking, I'm not finna turn around. And then that boy was like, um, is your stepdaddy calling you? And I said, no. <laughs> And we drove off. So I was like, okay, boom. Excuse me. You in my business? Yeah, don't do that. Anywho. Like, okay, boom. Bye. That happened one time. But I got in the car. So as I'm in the car, I'm like, okay, we chilling. And he grabbing my hand. And I'm looking at him with his green eyes. And I'm like, oh, uh, like. So... Um, he grabbed my hand or whatever. So I was like, okay. So we went to the movies. It was good. He, it was good. He was opening the door for me, put his jacket on me. And I was like, oh my gosh, this night is going so good. Like, I'm a wife. But God had different plans. 
so we get back in the movie is over but if we get back in the car and i'm like okay what are we doing after this and he was like oh we're gonna go stargazing and i said what's stargazing he was like you never been stargazing and i was like no and i'm sorry if you're watching if you are the guy that's watching this i never told you that this was the worst day ever but it was the worst day ever i just it's been stuck on my mind ever since high school and this was a long time ago i think this was like junior year or sophomore year i don't know so it's like you know been stargazing and i was like no so i was like okay this is some white fuck shit for real because and he was like stargazing is where we gonna go somewhere and we gonna pop the tr we gonna lay down the trunk and then we gonna look at the stars and we gonna talk and i was like oh that's so sweet like i'm just over here thinking of the notebook because i'm thinking okay like you want to treat me like a special girl so whatever we pull off we go to our little destination go start eating. and i'm like oh like we on top of a hill and then he had a blanket to lay down so we can lay down and watch the stars so i'm over here like okay i see what you're doing he was making me smile and then he was touching my cheek and i was like quit it don't touch my cheek like that because i'm a cake for romance so anyways or whatever he was like touching my cheek and i was like okay so this is where everything started going bad he started touching me down there and i said hold on no this is what we not gonna do and he was like why he didn't say why like he was like why not he was like come on and i said no i said if you want to do this you can just take me home because i didn't already watch my movie i didn't already ate so just take me home <laughs> so he was like no nah, we good we just gonna see her and talk and i was like okay <sighs> 15 minutes later this boy is unraveling his pants and i'm like sir what are you doing this is not the time in the place this is not so he was he was pulling down his pants and i'm over here looking So when I turned around, I was like, okay, this is where I was real disappointed in. Because I'm over here like, this is little. When I tell y'all it was this big, this big. And I'm just going. <laughs> like, hold on. Can we rewind, please? Because first of all, I told you I didn't want to do nothing with you. Like, I wasn't feeling it. Like, I'm not like that. And then I'm telling you, no, 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 no. And you over here going to take this boy, pull down his pants, and then not put them down, unzip them. And then not even that, you over here playing with your thing in front of me. And I'm just looking like, hold on, where is it at? Because this is what I'm saying right here. I was like that in my head. I was like, this is fucking embarrassing and he should feel so embarrassed right now. So I was just like, <laughs> and it's so little. And I was like, why would you, why would you say that? Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know, I'm not happy. You know, I'm trying to see if it'll work out here. And I know that it's not like, I don't think. So I, I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, what you mean, come here? And I was like, no. He was like, why are you acting like that? And I said, I told you, like, I don't want to do nothing with you. So, or whatever, he pulled, he zipped it back up, put it back up. And he was like this. Like, I guess he started getting sexually frustrated or mad. And I was like, can you take me home? So, he was like, cool. So, he crunked up. Y'all, this is where it gets fucked up at. This boy cranks up the truck. Goes to crank up the truck. The truck don't even crank up. I'm in the car like this, ready to go home. He go crank up the car. It's not starting. And I'm over here like, Lord, why? I'm just over here like, please, please, please. I just want to go home. It's cold. Stargazing went left. We didn't even watch the stars. I want to go home. So whatever and then the car wasn't cranking and it didn't crank for an hour and he was like, i gotta call so and so and i'm like bro this is the worst day fucking ever and he had to call some whole new people to come 
boost the car or some shit. So that was embarrassing. So we in the car and I'm gonna stand in the whole time and he dropped me off at home and we never talked again. But I think he was still like looking at me at school and I'm and then at the senior year I was looking at him like what the fuck was I thinking? But yes, y'all, that was the worst day ever. That was the worst day ever. Because I'm just like, bro. I don't think, I haven't really been on many dates. Because the guys that I have talked to have been like very, very, like they some dicks. Like, I haven't met a real nigga yet, y'all. And I don't really want to meet nobody because I'm really focusing on me. But yes, that was really the worst day ever. And it was like junior or sophomore year. And I still remember that because that was the worst day ever. And that's my story time about having the worst day ever. I hope you guys enjoy listening to me explain the worst day ever. I hope you guys got a laugh out of this. I hope you guys do not go stargazing with the guy. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I don't know. It was just weird. But if he watching this, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. You probably don't watch me. You probably don't care to watch me. But you're cool. But that was the worst freaking day ever. And thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube channel. I hope so. I'm going to see y'all soon, though, because, you know, I'm going to start dropping videos like. And my next video is going to be so good. And I just want to thank y'all so much for loving and supporting me. And this was a story time because I haven't done story times in a minute. So this was a story time on how I had my worst day ever. See y'all later.